This is Endless with VGMechanica.com. Let's talk about cloaking devices in EVE Online. I've had some questions on kind of the basics of what they do and how they work, and uh, we'll just go over those real quick. Now, if you go into the market under electronics and sensor upgrade, you'll see a cloaking devices, and there's only three in the game. Uh, there's a prototype, which, you know, basic skills, you only need like cloaking one to use it. Uh, improved cloaking device and then covert ops cloaking devices can only be equipped on special ships so the prototype and the improved cloaking device both sh are pretty similar uh, you can't cloak while in warp you take a huge speed penalty when you cloak and uh, you can't lock on to stuff for a little while after you decloak unless you put on certain rigs let's see if we got yeah so 20 seconds on this one before you can lock on to stuff and uh, 30 seconds before you can lock on to stuff. So you have a like a lag time, so you can't just decloak and lock on to stuff. That's what the Covert Ops cloak is for. You don't have that kind of lag, really. Um, and your ship will compensate. So we'll, uh, we'll demonstrate real quick. I'll head to full speed. And it's just a high slot item. You just uh, put it on uh, at the station. You can only have one on. I, I was going to try to have one of each of uh, the main two on, but if you have more than one on, it'll interfere. So there's no real reason to have more than one on that I can think of. So you just cloak up and you kind of fade into outline on your ship. You're blurry, but no one can see you now. You're off the grid. You're unscannable. Um, really, the only way you can be not uh, the only way you can come out of cloak is if something gets within two kilometers of you so you kind of got to be careful of that if a ship gets close if uh, a drone gets close cargo container sentry guns um i think even corpses can decloak you which is uh, a little you got to be more careful of because most people don't even have those on their overview so just stay away from two kilometers of stuff and you'll be completely cloaked. This is great for uh, scouting out, you know, you sit on the gate at 100 kilometers or 200 kilometers and, and just give intel and you don't even have to do anything. Um, if you notice I'm going pretty dang slow, it takes a big speed penalty for this one and uh, not much else to it. I mean, I can decloak and uh, I've still got that, that lag time before I can target anything, so... Uh, that's it. I mean, that's pretty good with the, the basic one. So I'm going to dock up and we're going to put on the Covert Ops cloak. This should only take a second. In fact, I'm just going to skip straight to it. All right, so I've equipped the Covert Ops cloaking device. Now, when I was saying that only certain ships could equip it, I meant that only Covert Ops frigates and recon ships can equip it. No other ships in the game... Oh, I, let me rephrase that. Um, recon ships, uh, Covert Ops frigates, and then certain strategic cruisers with the right subsystems. Otherwise, no other ship in the game can have the co Covert Ops cloaks on. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to... Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to go ahead and cloak now. And you notice I didn't take a single speed drop, I can still move at full speed. And there's a little trick you can do if you're in micro warp drive, you can cycle it on and activate that and you'll uh, you'll pop in a cloak at a high speed. And we're just gonna warp anywhere, we're gonna warp to just some random planet. Warp drive active. And the cool thing is is you can warp while cloaked. So you can't be scanned, and you can move around pretty freely. It's actually pretty nice. The uh, stealth bombers use it to get a bombing run on, and the uh, recon and the the I don't know what to call them. The uh, I say recon as in they have scanner probes and stuff like that. Oh, your own scanner probes can knock you out of cloak, so you got to be careful on that one. Just two kilometers. It's you know it's pretty dang close, so it's hard to really get that close to stuff, but it happens. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty dang simple. If you had, a uh, bombs on, you could, uh, go towards an object. 
decloak, launch the bomb, and then kind of try to recloak. What's the? Yeah, you just gotta wait 15 seconds before you recloak. So typically, you launch the bomb and then warp. You try to align, but we'll do a separate video on bombing runs. That's pretty much the basics of cloaks. I mean, they don't really get more complicated. Um, you just gotta uh, pay attention to the ship you're in and what your focus is, if it's combat, if it's just scanning. Like I said, the other covert op ship, like the Helios for this one, uh, instead of being a bomber, it's just a scanning ship. And you cloak and you just scan down stuff. And that's pretty useful too, and that way you can't be hunted down while you're trying to scan. So, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.